Welcome! In front of me I have Huawei Watch Ultimate and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can do it by pressing and holding the crown button. Keep holding it until you see the Huawei logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And once the watch turns on, you may see the list of languages on the screen and you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. And after you select the language, uh, we need to download and install the Huawei Health application on our phone. And this part is a bit um, one key. We need to download the App Gallery, Huawei App Gallery, then we need to, to use the App Gallery to download the Huawei Health application because on the Google Play Store the Huawei Health application is not available. So and we need to open the browser on our phone. It can be any browser you want. I'm gonna use the Google Chrome. In the browser tap on search and type in uh, app gallery.huawei.com this this address appgallery.huawei.com and then uh, search for it oh i must have typed it in wrong let me actually check i have it saved in the clipboard it's appgallery.huawei.com slash featured my bad so we need to enter this address and then tap on search and it should bring you to this page it should look like this once you're on this page tap on this icon right here in the top left corner to download the app gallery then tap on install app gallery and it's gonna start downloading the app so tap on download anyway as you can see it's downloading and after it's done uh, downloading you will need to open it and you can do it by tapping on the open button once the app downloads you will see the pop-up that, that it's done and you can tap on open uh, let's see if it's still downloading oh no as you can see file downloaded and we can tap on open to open it and once you open it you may see the um, pop-up about the security so for example the browser you're using might uh, might not have the installed from unknown sources option enabled for it so we need to tap on settings it will bring you uh, to this page install unknown apps tap on the switch to allow from this source and then you can tap on install to install the app gallery Okay, and now we can tap on open, but for now I'm just gonna close everything and we can open the app gallery from the desktop or rather homepage. Okay, so once you open the app gallery, tap on next, agree. You can allow or deny the permission. And after a couple of seconds, you should see the featured page. Now tap on search and type in Huawei health and tap on search and you should see the Huawei health at the first spot tap on the install button next to it and again you will see the permission required message tap on settings it will redirect you to the un install unknown apps allow from this source then go back to the app tap on install button next to Huawei health again and it start it's gonna start installing or rather downloading and then you can tap on install to install it so let's wait Tap on install. Okay, and after it's done installing, you will see the open button. You can tap on it to open the Huawei Health application, or you can simply open it uh, by opening the app menu and tapping on the icon. And after you open the Huawei Health application, you will need to select the uh, region. To do it, tap right here, it will open the list, find the region you want to use, and tap on it to select it. I'm gonna select the United Kingdom, but you can select anything you like mm. uh, let's find it it should be somewhere here okay and once you select the region you can tap on next next agree you can allow or deny the permission and now you should see the health page here you can tap on mm, devices or first we need to log in anyway because if you try to add the device it will prompt you to log in so we can tap on me and then uh, log in into with huawei id right here and basically we need to log in into huawei id account if you don't have an account you can tap on register right here 
to make a new one. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address and password, so give me a couple of seconds. Okay, I logged in, and after you log in, uh, you will be redirected to the health page again. And now we can tap on uh, devices. Oh, my bad. Uh, not here. Devices. On this page, you should see add button. Tap on it. Tap on enable because we have the Bluetooth disabled. I forgot to mention it, but if you want to pair the devices, you need to enable Bluetooth. Okay. And as you can see, we need to allow the permission for the location. So tap on OK and allow. Then tap on enable and enable the location services. OK, and once you're done, the app will start uh, scanning for the nearby devices and it should detect your uh, Huawei Watch Ultimate. Tap on link next to it, of course. Tap on allow. <laughs> Now tap on the check mark on the watch and tap on pair on the phone. Okay, right here we can check the boxes to auto download the updates and install updates if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on continue. Then we can enable the uh, keep up to updated feature if you want to, or you can select install updates manually. And here you tap on done, continue. And right here we can enable the phone notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch, uh, you need to enable uh, the phone notifications and allow some permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on cancel and then on the done button to skip this. I'm gonna show you how to enable it. So tap on enable, tap on the screen, find the Huawei Health on the list, tap on it, Tap on the switch next to allow notification access. Tap on allow, go back. And then you can customize the notifications. You can turn them on or off. You can enable or disable the notifications for specific apps. And then you can tap on done and okay. Again, you can allow or deny the permissions for the notifications to work. And here you can also customize or set up a ECG feature if you want to by tapping on OK. I'm just going to tap on Cancel for now. OK, and here we have it, the device page for our Watch Ultimate. And once you see this page, that means that the watch is paired with your phone. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.